What's up guys? Drone worship in your face. So today we're going to talk about making the 3DR Solo autonomous with a couple simple clicks on your cell phone and some simple things you need to know. I have not really had a chance to play with this app too much but I'm going to show you guys how to connect it because there was not much information on how to connect the tower app and I found out it was so very simple there's probably a reason why nobody showed you. So as you can see I have the uh, drone on right now the transmitters on I'm going to go ahead and take my phone and connect it to the drone's Wi-Fi. Solo link. Connect. Okay, we're going to let that work itself out. Beautiful. Looks like we are connected. All right, and now what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to open up uh, the Android market right here. And... As you can see, if you type in tower and you scroll down, you will see this app right here, Droid Planner Labs. Go ahead and download that after you have downloaded and installed it. I put it in my solo folder. You're going to open up tower apps. Make sure that before you run your drone in the area, before you actually turn on uh, the solo app and all the other stuff, that you allow yourself to have internet because when you connect to Wi-Fi your 4G does not come on um, or at least mine doesn't it just says connected to Wi-Fi so it's canceling out my 4G signal so make sure you load the map on Tower Planner before you turn the internet off and connect it to the solo otherwise you won't have a map to be able to set your waypoints and stuff okay so make sure you do that first so I went ahead and set up the map but now I'm going to show you how to connect the 3DR solo to the Android app Tower and how simple this really was. I sat here and I was kind of frustrated. I'm like, God damn it, it should be so easy, you know? And uh, it really wasn't. <laughs> but this is what I found out. So what you're gonna do after you pull this up, you got your map, everything's ready, but you hit connect and it, it just won't connect. There's no device. Oh my God, how do we solve this problem? It's easy. See the USB? You're gonna click on USB and you're gonna click UDP and then you're gonna hit connect automatically starts communicating with the uh, there you go boom it's communicating with the solo it tells me my home point arm disarm I can set waypoints I can write doodles I can edit the map I can set a point of interest see we'll go ahead and go to doodle so you see my house we're gonna draw a nice big circle around it boom look at all those waypoints you can set individual heights for each one or you can select all we'll move this aside here for a sec and you can set the altitude for all of them at whatever you want, or you can individually set the altitude for individual, you know, waypoints, whatever you want to do. Like, this is a very good app. I'm surprising. So now each waypoint down at the bottom, as you can see, is set for 140, or you can individually click on it and adjust each waypoint as needed. So this is a very, very good map. And this is a good program. Um, you can set points of interest. So if I was to uh, go back here let's see here what did I want to do okay so I can upload the mission <laughs> download the mission for later import the file or export the file which means I can save it basically to my computer I think I think that's kinda what that's coming into but I can upload the mission right now to the drone once it has it I can just click fly and it'll automatically make the flight um, I think you can change some of the characteristics like if you want to do a takeoff point I'm not quite sure I remember how to do that. I'll have to mess with this some more, but this is still, it's very cool. So, okay, so that's how you bring it up. So you can see there's a spline waypoint, circle, land, region of interest, structure scanner, uh, structure scanner. Like, there's just, just, this app is just packed with goodness. So, anyways, guys, you saw how simple that was to connect Tower Planner and start using it. Uh, once you have your waypoint set, you can upload your mission and then uh, send the solo off on its uh, mission. Sit back and just do all the light work with the camera. So, fully autonomous, out of the box, refurbished. All you got to do is download Tower, Tower Planner and uh, follow those easy steps. So, it's too windy to go out and fly today. Whoops. <laughs> Too windy to go out and fly the Solo or the Q500 today, so I figured we would just show you how to make your drone autonomous if you didn't already know. Very simple. Um, and that's basically it. Drone worship. I'm out. Toodaroo.